Today we commemorate a late medieval saint, Saint Bernardine of Siena, as his image shows his attribute, uh, he is holding a banner, a flag, with the name of Jesus. Um, he devoted, uh, he developed a devotion uh, to the holy name of Jesus. Often we, we see the abbreviation of Jesus' name within the three letters uh, I H S. Uh, there are few interpretations of these names. I H S is the uh, abbreviation of uh, Saint Constantine's dream, his dream which he saw before the battle at the Pont of Milvius that night, he saw the sign of the cross and, uh, uh, and the message received the revelation, in this sign you shall be victorious, in hoc signo vincis, in this sign you will win, in the sign of Christ. Or the founder of the Jesuit order, has chosen as his motto, Jesus habemum socium, in Latin, we have Jesus as our companion. That's the name of, uh, this is where the name of the Society of Jesus, the Jesuit uh, name, comes. Or IHS, um, ye, Jesum, uh, hominum salvator. He, Jesus is the savior of the of, of all humankind. Perhaps at the core of this devotion to Jesus' name lies just what we read in the Acts of the Apostles, that the members of the community devoted themselves to the service of the Lord's name. Uh, Men and women in that community dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And actually this is the foundation of this devotion. Perhaps from another angle, um, what St. Bernardine, uh, Bernardine uh, says is that when we have the written name of Jesus, not just the name, if it's written, it's like his portrait. It's like, uh, like the anticipation of the Eucharistic presence, of a personal presence. Uh, when the name of Jesus is present, written, and we read, uh, it's a reminder that we belong to him. And uh, mysteriously, um, we can sense and we can draw on from his presence. It's a bit like when we have a photograph of our beloved ones, and even if they are far away, we feel that we are in their presence, that they are with us, that we belong to uh, gather. Uh, but when we celebrate the Eucharist today, let us celebrate the fact that by the Word of God and by receiving the sacraments, we are marked by the name of Jesus. And this mark is like a spring in us. It continuously uh, wells up in us a desire for God, a desire to become a better person, a desire to serve others, a desire to be named after Christ. And just a closing thought it just occurred that in our age of news and images and all sorts of names, the true name, the true God, the true God's name whom we worship is so, so important and life-giving. Let us pray.